the elevator and rudder control tubes have been manufactured, fitted and adjusted in the roller bearing brackets. The control tubes have been re-engineered from original tubes. While not from a whirlwind, they are of the correct size and contemporary with the early World War II equipment. The rudder bar operating bell crank also served to operate a differential braking system. The rearward extension of the bell crank operated a valve via a sliding pin. The valve allowing greater air pressure to be applied to the main wheels on whichever side the rudder bar was moved to. Another example of the integrated design of the whirlwind compared to the individual tow brakes more commonly found on World War II aircraft. The whirlwind was fitted with a number of redundant safety systems in case of any main circuit failure. If the engine driving the hydraulic pump failed, circuit pressure could be maintained by an emergency hand pump manufactured by Doughty and fitted on the starboard side of the cockpit on the pilot bulkhead. The Whirlwind Fighter project was very fortunate to have original engineering drawings enabling an exact functional reproduction to be manufactured. Access to the cockpit was by means of a telescopic ladder on the port side of the aircraft. Situated in the rear of the cockpit section underneath the accumulator tray. The ladder was held in a substantial cast bracket fixed to the lower longer arm and side frames. The ladder was released by a push button on the fuselage side just above and behind the wing trailing edge. The button connected to a spring loaded rod located in the ladder bra bracket casting engaging into holes in the ladder leg when the ladder was in the fully retracted position. The same compartment housed the two inclined parachute flare tubes, the flares being released by the pilot through two pull toggle levers on the starboard side of the cockpit. The cables released the latches for the hinged doors under the fuselage while simultaneously releasing the flare retaining latches in the tubes. The Whirlwind Fighter Project is a not-for-profit charity run by a group of dedicated volunteers. If you feel you could assist in recreating this iconic World War II fighter, please visit our Facebook and web pages. Any donations can be made through our GoFundMe page. Also, please visit our active partner in the Whirlwind Fighter Project and future home of the Whirlwind, the Kent Battle of Britain Museum. Many thanks.